YouTube, it's Desmond, and today we've got a bit of a problem here. I have right here my Broadway Limited Imports M1A steam engine. However, despite it being on forward and set to move, it is not able to pull this train. Now, this is not the first time I've had the, this particular this particular problem with this model before, and it has already been sent back into the factory once to be repaired but yet and although it did work for many months after the factory after the factory repair it is now back to being broken again now this engine has not been taken anywhere um, it is only pulling about 16 or 20 cars right now which is not all that much for these Broadway limited import steam engines and hasn't been abused in any way so I'm much to myself wondering what exactly the problem is. Now, the problem is in the drivetrain because if I take these cars off right here, the engine will move and the cars do freely roll. So, to me, it's kind of obvious that the, there's some problem with the gears that are, is preventing them from properly locking together and allowing the engine to actually pull any weight because I'll couple these cars back to it again and see what happens up oh, and actually even before I st coupled the cars back to it again it stopped as it went up a slight hill so that's obviously a problem so we're going to disassemble or at least try to disassemble this engine to maybe get out the gearbox myself and at least try to take a look at what's wrong with it before doing anything else after unscrewing the screws on the bottom plate and on the rear truck, you should now be able to see the center gear as well as the wheel inserts for the train. And if the front, if the front truck is also removed, you can then see the next screws that we would need to unscrew, which would be this one right here, and also these two at the back, and also this third one right here. However, before doing that, we are going to just at least lift up this third gear right here, this gear right here, and see what's going on in there. Now, you should be able to see that there are some little gears in here at the bottom. Um, and now, let's take a look. They do to appear to be all, they do appear to be all contacting each other. However, we know that that's why the uh, wheels aren't pulling the weight of the cars. So now that I've taken these t these three screws along with this one screw out, I've discovered that this will allow the what appears to be the whole entire chassis to lift up. But before attempting to do the so, I'm actually going to put this piece back onto here just to keep the wheels from do doing anything they shouldn't be and to give me a little bit more free hands to be able to work with that taking that chassis out. So with the chassis separated now would be now I can clear this is going to have a likely chance of success at repairing the steam engine. Before doing so though you would need to take off three connecting pins which can be seen here. The top one being a red, black, and red one. The one beneath it being signified by this kind of brown cable. And the back ones being signaled by all black cables. I will attempt to remove these two screws lift and lift the green board up. I've put this motor and this engine back on the truck. And now the motor is running again. So you can kind of see that if I put, you should be able to see a little bit that it's running. So now the goal will be to try to align the motor's gear with these other two gears in there. To me, we need to first take out the motor before we can attempt to reinstall the gear. I believe that there is a slot right here that this first square goes in then it the motor presses forward on that based on this mount right here to attempt to take the motor off we will remove those two screws right there
the motor is off, and we will slide the gear in right there. This part is critical. Make sure that both that front end is right before that plastic socket. Now we're going to try to slide the motor back into place. Carefully, while holding the motor up, place at least one of the screws back in and fully tighten it. Again for the second one. Now, we're going to try Now we're going to snap this. This does not look like it solved the problem, but we're going to snap this gearbox cover back on and check whether or whether that is whether or whether or not that is true. Back on the track, I'm now noticing several things. First of all, we have this motor disc which is still spinning. Wow. Well, that's a surprise right there. It is moving, but it is very jerky right now, which is not typical for a model of this price. But let's try to figure out what happened. One of the things I do notice is that the rear square that was on this gearbox is not completely level and pushed in. That is a problem as I spin the motor disc. Let's try to get that in the frame then you may notice that the square is sp still spinning. So we will need to go back and fix that. Let's turn the train on again. See what happens. So that's the original problem now. Stop again. We're going to stop the train for a minute here and remove the gearbox while we are on the track. Alright, we're going to put the train on one speed step. That did not work. What we will now try is to remove that gear again and reinstall it. So with the remote removed, I believe that I now have found the proper way to insert that gear. So one side, the this outside piece, will have the circle pointing outward. This end will have a, will have, so that way it rests on the inner piece while still allowing this piece right here to fit snugly inside the square. And you can see it just popped out, but I'll just pop that back in. Here's that gear with the fix that I just applied, which again involves the circular end on the far side pointing outward and the square fitting snugly into that hole. I'll put the gear box back cover back on it and we'll give it another try. Back on the track, we are now going to see what happens.
So the problem has still not been solved. 